so what's going on guys welcome back to another notification shout out and this time i want to give a big shout out to these three lovely people for having their post notifications turned on thank you guys so much i appreciate you from the bottom of my heart and if you would like a shout out like these three lovely people all you have to do is make sure your post notifications are turned on so you can be one of the first three people to comment that way you will get a shout out on my next video all right guys now let's get into the video honestly guys i want to jump right into this video so this is my package this is how it came in so first of all let me let y'all know i ordered this from aliexpress this nail kit on the 10th of this month so on the 10th of april i ordered this kit and it came in on the 27th so this took exactly 17 days to come to me i honestly really thought it was going to come like two months from now like let's just be real y'all were scaring me in my comments on tiktok saying oh that's never going to come you're going to get scammed blah 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 no it's here it's here here it is so i bought this rosland acrylic nail kit i got it for like around eight dollars but with tax and shipping and everything it came up to about 12 which is still around about a good price for a kit with acrylic so it has three different colors of acrylic powder and then we have a dappin dish and then in the middle we have a nail brush and then on the side we have some monomer so what this video is basically about is i'm basically gonna show you guys whether it's actually worth it so let's see let's go ahead and take this off pull it out and boom so this is what we have and already i'm smelling the monomer like it's real strong like she's real strong she's coming through so this is the monomer It's one fluid ounce it's enough to practice with it's a good bit to practice with we have these acrylic powders they come in three different colors they come in pink white and clear most of these pinks in these cheaper acrylic kits are closer to clear than pink so i'm really gonna have to test this out to see if it's actually pink so it's definitely a more of a small container it's not that big but i would say if you're just practicing and you just want to get your feet wet then i mean it's not bad like so i'm just comparing this out so y'all can see like the difference in size this is a one ounce jar so y'all can see how small that actually is but like i said if you're just practicing and you just want to get your little feet wet i wouldn't be mad at this honestly so here we have a nail brush it doesn't say what size it is so i don't know but we're definitely gonna try it out it looks like it's a decent size to just practice with honestly so this should be good it's a nice cute little brush too got the little crystals in there so i'm excited to use this and then we have like the standard dappin dish pop that open so it doesn't say which is which like which one is pink which one is white and which one is clear on the jar so we're definitely going to need swatches to figure this out i'm going to start with this one this one is either a white or a clear so let's see oh this brush is a little stiff i'm gonna try my best to like whip this back on up in shape look at that side view of that you see how it's whipping up a little bit yeah yeah that's gonna be hard to pick up a bee with the brush like that like my brush slick looking like alfalfa like i don't know what's going on here we're kind of going to make do just for these swatches really fast so let's go ahead and see if this is white this is definitely clear so i'm gonna put it on the cap so i know that's definitely clear the white and it is look at that boom and of course this one is supposed to be pink so let's see Ooh, ooh, ooh! she's looking a little pink okay it's a little clear but it's showing that it's pink and not just you know a clear okay pink come through so boom we got clear pink and then we have white 
So what I am going to do for you guys is I'm going to do my nails with this acrylic. We're going to see how well this is going to turn out. I might use my own brush if y'all don't mind. I might. All right, so I got my nail tips on and ready. And if you want to know what type of nail tips I use, I'm going to put it down in the description down below. But they are from Amazon. And I think I'm going to cut these down just a little smidget before we get started. Okay, now we're good. So my plans are to like do a full set with the acrylic just to see the quality of the acrylic and the monomer to see if it dries too quickly or anything like that just to let y'all know how i feel about it if it's worth it so let's get into it i think this brush is out the window honestly like i don't know how i'm going to get through a full set with this like it's going to take too long way too long so i'm think i'm just going to bring in my own brush so this is my good old panda brush old faithful a little dirty too but y'all just excuse that i'll put the link for this brush in the description down below it is a number 10 brush i'm just gonna go ahead and dive right into it all right, so let's start with this thumb. So I've been contemplating on what I want to use. Now looking at the pink, it's looking a little bit more like clear than pink. So that's a little disappointing, but I think I want to play with the white and see how the white is going to hold up. That's a good bit. Oh, it's like really, really runny. Oops. Ooh, it's drying a little quickly, but it's coming on down. Let's get it to work on down. Come on, you're almost there. That dried too quick. Y'all see, it didn't even let me get to the end. It was doing so good. Ugh. But I think I can still work this out. So let's take a smaller bead and go down with it and brush this up. And then kind of work it on down. That was good. That was nice. All right, so that's what we're looking like. I laid it on a little thick, but no, it's not. It's not too thick. It's not too thick. Now we got to work on this cuticle area. As you can see, I didn't do a big enough bead because I got this all going on on the side. But I don't know if you guys can see it, but it kind of dried up a little bit too quickly and I couldn't like blend the rest of the bead into the rest of the nail. But it doesn't, it's not that bad. I'm gonna take a little bit more acrylic and kind of fill that little side and really both sides in and kind of get this apex looking a little bit more like an apex because right now as y'all can see we have a little dent right here in the middle so let's go ahead and fix that okay so i struggled a lot off camera to get this to look decent and it still isn't all that great so y'all listen i'm gonna do this one from start to finish on camera so you guys can see the struggle like it it's not bad though like it's not terrible because see how it just gives off this runny consistency oh no really uh, gosh. so besides the fact that one of my brush bristles came out on to the acrylic i'm gonna cover that up but y'all see how it dried right before i can even get to the tip that's what's frustrating i feel like i almost feel like if you're practicing like you this is still like not a bad acrylic to like practice with let me just bring this all the way down Blend, blend, blend. 
just blend just blend that's really all i want you to do right now is just be one with the rest of the nail just look at the cuticle Ugh, i messed up on that because i was so focused on trying to hurry up and get it to blend out and you can still see like right there in the middle it still didn't blend out completely so that's what's annoying about this acrylic okay i think i did something here so here i started like with a smaller bead and y'all can see like it blended out a little bit better so let's see if i can do this is just one last one on camera with smaller beads and let's see what happens let's do and then at the bottom right here kind of blend it up this wasn't really that small you know crap but it might work out it might work out it might work out oh boom that looks 10 times better that really worked out 10 times better than the other ones okay yeah that's what i want to do for now on because that works so moral of the story is if you're going to use this acrylic use it in smaller beads since it dries up so quickly and look how beautifully that just blended right on in okay all right i got something good going on if i can get this cuticle right on everything i'm about to do a little happy dance blend 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 please 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 go well okay that part didn't blend out well and that cuticle looks jacked up a little bit but um i think i have a thing going though and i want to keep it up okay so hold hold the phone hold the darn phone this one actually came out pretty good let me stop moving so y'all can really see can y'all check me out on that ring finger and this was done using smaller beads. And it actually came out way more smoother. So, okay, let me just do exactly what I did on this finger on the pinky. So let me just show y'all. Let me show you. Let me show y'all. I'm going to kind of start in the middle and kind of let it fall right on down. And y'all see how that smaller bead just goes all the way down so much easier yes that's what i need in my life see this is why you never give up like just find a different way same thing here allow it to like fall down come on all the way all the way yes perfect let's try to get this one perfect i think it is going to be perfect guys oh my gosh that is so perfect no i dried up a little bit but it's okay it's okay it's okay because you can't really tell that much and look at that this is what progress looks like. I need a little bit more white down here because y'all can see it's kind of fading off at the bottom, but this is definitely what progress looks like. I went from looking like this tragedy, <laughs> these tragedies, to this. That looks so good on this side. Okay, so I hope this angle kind of gives y'all a better look at the ones that I did with smaller beads and then the ones that I didn't do with smaller beads so so for these three i tried to do it with bigger beads and also with the two bead method and y'all see how that looks it dried so quickly that it leaves it lumpy and looking a mess and then the cuticles are a mess but these two over here i did it with smaller beads and i really didn't use a 2b 3b method or whatever i just used smaller beads and use however many beads that i needed to to just complete the whole nail and it looks so much better than the rest like look at that look at that you can really see the difference so i went on and capped them off camera with a, a clear acrylic 
I'm not gonna lie, I did not use this clear acrylic because I felt like that was just gonna take too long. I wanna cap it off like in one or two beads and let it be done with it. And that's what I did. I used Mia Secret clear acrylic, but let's see the before and after filing. Let's see how that looks. So this is the before filing. All right, I hope y'all got a good look at that before because this is the app. Y'all, it don't look half bad. Look at the after. And then look at that side view. That's why it's not over until it's over. And y'all, these didn't come out half bad. Like, I'm not mad at it. I feel like the thumb, I did a little bit too short. But look at that. These are cute. These are cute. So I would have to rate this kit for beginners around a 6 out of 10. The brush wasn't as useful as I really wanted it to be, but for the price, I mean, what do you expect, <laughs> honestly? The simple fact that I was able to do a full set with this acrylic and monomer with my own brush and the set don't look half bad is the reason why I would recommend this for beginners. Just remember, small beads, small beads. <laughs> this kit is one out of like four or five other nail items that I ordered off of AliExpress. I'm still waiting on the other ones to come in, so stay tuned for those videos because I will be making a video on each and every item. So you definitely want to make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. But for now, I will see you guys later in my next unboxing video. Bye!